I just want to show you my Christmas pants because you might not be able to see them. Hi guys, my name is Becky and I am here from the Story Girls and welcome back to another gift idea video. This is on our little mini series of Christmas gift or holiday gift ideas that you can make in roughly under an hour and they're all pretty affordable to do. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you two ways to make your own candles that you can give as gifts. Candles are great because it's something that people might not always buy for themselves because it seems like something you don't really need but once you have one in your life and it smells so good, you're like, yes, I need it. Candles are great gifts, they're super easy to do and they're also something that can be easily upcycled from older candles because you can always melt down wax and we love a good upcycle. So the first candle I'm gonna show you how to make is this adorable little copper candle. We are making this out of a Moscow Mule mug. These are so easy to find this time of year. I mean, especially this time of year, they're easy to find because I feel like all the stores put out their table decor and like table setup sections right now and they always have beautiful little mugs for table decorating. For the wax, you can either use a plain unscented candle or wax bricks meant for candle making. For ours, we're gonna be using these plain dollar store white candles. We found this a way cheaper option than buying the actual wax in the craft stores that's made for candles. Use something sharp to break apart the candles so they're easier to melt. Melt on your wax by either putting an existing glass candle in the oven or using a double boiler technique on your stove. To do the double boiler technique, all you need to do is place a measuring cup inside of a pot with water and then place that on a stove and let your water boil. Just make sure when you're doing this, you're using a measuring cup that you don't plan on cooking with after because the wax is pretty messy and could be hard to get off and you don't want that in your dinner that you're making later tonight. While that's melting, add your wick to the bottom of your mug using super glue. We're using a wooden wick because they crackle like a little campfire while they're burning. Once your wax is completely melted, add your candle scent into the mixture. Mix it all together. For this candle, we're using a combination of lavender and vanilla. Since the amount of scent required differs depending on the types of oils you're using, it's always best just to read the instructions they come with. But a general rule, if you're not sure, is one ounce of scent to one pound of candle wax. Pour your wax into your container and leave it to harden completely. Be careful because this will be very hot. Once it's cooled, you'll have your completed DIY candle. I love the look of this mug candle. It's super cute, super chic, and the best part is making candles in mugs is a great idea because you can carry them when they're hot and doesn't burn your little finkies. So next up, I'm gonna show you how to make this gorgeous greenery winter embedded candle that has pine and cedar and all of your favorite winter things in a candle. So using the same process as the copper candle, melt your wax down in a double boiler or in the oven. So for this candle, we're gonna be using real cedar sprigs to give that wintry Christmas feel. But when we were thinking about how to do this, we thought that it might be a problem to have real cedar in with your candle because once it starts to burn down, we don't want the tree to hit the candle and start some sort of Christmas tree fire in a little candle, that seems dangerous. So we thought of a solution or a way around this. To do this, we're gonna be using two glass containers. The first is smaller and will contain three candle wicks. Then the outside will have your pine springs and berries spread across the side. Starting with your smaller container, add three wicks to the bottom using super glue. We're gonna be using regular candle wicks this time instead of the wood ones because I wanna do three and the regular ones are a little bit smaller. Using two wooden skewers, tie the wicks up so they don't fall over while the wax is hardening. Once the wax is melted, add in your scent. This time we're using a mix of amber woods and cinnamon to make a woodsy holiday scent. Pour the wax into the smaller jar first and then let this cool completely. While that's dry, I'm gonna start adding the greenery to the larger container. Take your melted wax and using a paintbrush, brush over the branch onto the glass. You'll wanna brush slightly over the edge to keep this in place. This is a similar technique to the way you might Mod Podge something onto something else. You're putting the glaze over top and it's gonna hold it in place. Once you're happy with your design around the edge, place the mini candle into the larger one. You'll now have to retie your wicks to the skewers, but this time to the taller candle's height. We're adding some little red berries around the edge as well, and then filling up the entire rest of the candle with more melted wax. Once the whole thing is completely hardened, cut the wicks to the right length and clean off any dried wax around the top edge of the candle. This candle turned out so gorgeous and wintry. I love it, it's so beautiful, and our whole office now smells like winter woods. I 
I also wanted to give a huge shout out to the vlog fam because I found this clear candle or well, teapot holder at thrift store in a vlog and I asked you guys if you thought I could make it into a candle and you guys said yes you can and we want to see how you do it so thank you for inspiring this video if you don't know what the vlog fam is and you want to be a part of it check the link below we have so much fun over on our vlog channel where we get to learn about our personal lives and the random things that we thrift and want to turn into candles thanks so much for checking out this video guys I hope you like these ideas if you want to see more easy and affordable gift ideas make sure you subscribe to this channel we had two go up already and there's gonna be one more tomorrow so make sure you check those out and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's. As always guys, if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you love this channel, we'd love if you subbed it and we'll see you next time. Bye!